let's let's say we want to talk about optimal minimum wage. So the idea of optimal minimum wage or optimal policy design is um, it would be you know it's try it's to find a minimum wage. An optimal minimum wage, when we talk about optimal tax or optimal policy, it's a minimum wage that uh, maximizes social welfare. So when you hear about optimal policy, um, it's always a policy that's going to maximize um, social welfare. Okay, so here in these types of model that that we have here, what is the situation that maximizes social welfare? Well, social welfare is maximized when uh, when the unemployment rate is at its efficient level, when the labor market tightness at its efficient level, because we know that in this uh, simple setup that we have here. That's you know the only way to uh, the only way to maximize welfare is to be able to put the unemployment rate just at the right level. You don't want unemployment rate to be too low because you know if unemployment rate is too low, you have tightness that's too high. You devote too much of your workforce to um, producing, and therefore there is not not enough uh, workers that are devoted. Sorry, you devote too much of your workforce to recruiting and there are not enough workers who are devoted to producing and providing consumption. If your unemployment rate is too high, the opposite. You have too many workers who are idle and, and again, because of that, there is not enough production. So, as we've discussed when we talked about efficient unemployment in, in a model like this, the only way, the way to, to maximize social welfare is to bring unemployment at its efficient level, to bring tightness at its efficient level. So an optimal minimum wage, a minimum wage that maximizes social welfare, here it's, it's going to be a minimum wage uh, that brings tightness theta to theta star. Theta star being the efficient labor market tightness. And of course, if you bring theta to theta star, um, you're also going to bring u, the, un the unemployment level, to u star. Okay? Um, because, so here our idea is we want to find a policy to maximize social welfare. Uh, the policy itself, the minimum wage, doesn't affect social welfare. You know, social welfare here is based on the consumption uh, of, of workers, but how much workers consume is based on how much is produced in the economy and you know it may be based that so uh, and of course it's going to be based on the number of people who are unemployed because people who are unemployed they don't produce as much as people who are employed and it depends also on the number of people who are recruiters uh, because people who are recruiters they are not able to produce so minimum wage captures this but it doesn't you know it, at a high level it's not affected directly by uh, by the minimum wage. So, so here, what we want to do when we think about uh, an optimal minimum wage, it's going to be, uh, it's going to try to find the level to be able to bring your economy uh, to theta star or u star. And so, what's going to be, uh, what's going to be that minimum wage? Well, it's pretty simple. Uh, we can and we can illustrate that uh, graphically. 